Hello, welcome to this, the dark mod. Warm. How does it do that twice and then flash back to the menu for a second and then... I go by many names in this city. Outlaw, rogue, thief. The few people who know me call me Corbin. My job is to acquire valuable Eef. items for the rich. Sounds easy. But these items are usually owned by someone already. Someone who doesn't want to part with them. Luckily, I'm quite good at what I do. Tonight, I'm meeting someone who wants to hire me for a job. I don't know the details yet, but an associate of mine has vouched for him, and the message managed to pique my interest. I'm supposed to meet my contact in a courtyard south of Canterbury Tavern. Canterbury is popular with wealthy travelers, and it just so happens that a Lord Rothwick is staying there tonight. I'm told he has a purse full of very expensive rubies with him. I've decided to arrive in the area a little early and engage in a bit of burglary. <laughs> won't have the same level of security as a private estate, and it shouldn't be too difficult to find what room Lord Rothwick is in. The guest names are in the registry. I can help myself to that purse and still meet my contact in the courtyard on time. Not bad for a night's work. I've booked a room near the tavern. The sun is down, my gear is ready, and the city awaits. It's time to begin. Time to begin. Guys, vocal fry is uh, pretty hectic. It's pretty intense. After the audio finishes, the video just keeps going for a little while. I don't know why. <laughs> just does. Okay, you've got a bowl with lights on it. Okay. Let's make a noise maker. Buy a noise maker. Uh, arrow. Moss arrow. Moss arrow. Get a health too, and okay, we're all good. I figured it out. The back alleys of Bridgeport. You can get almost anywhere unseen if you know your way through the maze. You know your way through the. Ah, that how it is, mate. Can't go underneath. Dude, there. get up on that pipe if I can find something to stack. Can probably get up on that pipe if I can find something to stack. This guy. This guy. I tell you what. Let's move very slowly. That would fall over though, in real life. I mean, look at it. Especially when I get up on top of there, that would fall over. Okay. Now. 
and his dudes. The city watch makes the main streets a lot riskier. Even regular citizens might raise a hue and cry if they see someone dressed like me. He's saying something, it's very quiet though. I just had to point my ears toward them. Alright, what's up over here? This, that. Oh, that guy's coming. Down over there, we're all good. Miracle at St. Roderick's, Mill Street, February 17th. Several penitents have reported a miracle at St. Roderick's Church. A statue of St. Lucia has been seen to weep tears of blood on multiple occasions. Many witnesses have reported that they have seen this with their own eyes. While the cause is not known... Was that... While the cause is not known, the faithful are certain this is a sign from the master builder himself. The Archbishop of Bridgeport has been called upon to confirm the miracle and plans to visit St. Roderick shortly. In the meantime, many worshippers are going to the tiny church to pray for healing and good fortune. Elston's water arrows fight fires from a safe distance. Durability and worksmanship. Workmanship. Lasts for years, ready when you want it. Okay. Oop, there's a guy. Yep, another guy. See that one. In the windows. Traders attacked by savages, Fleckbridge, November 12th. A group of traders two days east of Fleckbridge were attacked by savages. Many men were slain and injured and their goods were taken. The builder roads surrounding Fleckbridge Monastery have not been maintained or guarded for years and attacks by tribes of savages have increased in recent months. Travellers are encouraged to avoid them and traders to move their goods by boat. Where did the guy go? Just wait for him to do his thing. Crows are calling. Damn fine architecture you've got there, buddy. Very architectural. 
A flood of light. A single touch brings a flood of light. Another touch dismisses it. Best artificial light ever known displays the home and its treasures at their very best. No exposed flame to blacken walls and decorations with soot or vitiate the air causing ill health to flare in the wind or be blown out. Pure, steady, clean, cool, sanitary, safe can be placed anywhere even in clothes closet the lamps and fixtures are decorations okay. can be placed anywhere yeah the lamps and yeah yeah cool color design and situation arranged to suit individual taste is your home electric lighted? If not, we can help. Right, Sales Department. Fleming Electric Illuminating Company of Bridgeport, 360 Pearl Street. Okay. This guy is mega vigilant. Always like clockwork, this guy. <sighs> Another one. goes and looks at the light. Be able to get past. That light is very bright. And to wait. Okay, now we're good. Probably not. Okay. Okay. Here. Whoa! Go down. That's okay. <laughs> Where's the dude? Not here. I already know what I have to do. Don't see me. Yep, we're okay. There's the tavern. That garden farm is a problem. I'll either need to distract <laughs> him or find another way in. Ah. Okay. First, I'm gonna go and trigger this voice line though although i think it's supposed to trigger later that's where i'm supposed to meet my contact looks like he's not here yet oh no that's okay what does it say moops moors what is this? why is this guy not like moors People, by the looks of it, this is this is some kind of incidence of racial prejudice on display. 
in this place. This place is dodgy. Yep. Going to save. Um, we can save F4. No. Oh, well, okay. That's fine. Oops. Game saved. Okay. I'm going to avoid the guard entirely. Go into the back of the bar. It's not what I did the first time I tried this, but it seems like the intended strategy. Oh, three. Wait, I only have one type of lockpick? Shouldn't I have two types? Ah, I must get the other one from inside. Okay, okay. Well, what about my noisemaker? I bought a noisemaker, didn't I? Is it inventory? Oh, okay. Ah, it's an arrow. Oh, how many of these... Time to uh, the architecture. I've got that the wrong way around too. Sorry, I keep doing this. But the keybinds reset every time I open the game. It's a problem with um, uh, Linux, I guess. That should be... Yeah. over here. Drop that weapon, don't move. No. You've got. Oops. <laughs> my my load is right at the um drop that weapon don't move hey i got him cornered here okay. <laughs> now i've got you what It's not the last of him. Chase my steel. Hmm? 
I'm gonna reload. I'm not gonna shoot that this time. I'm gonna do it the way I did it the first time. Oh no, this guy's coming. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hey, did you see the newer shots they have protecting the vizier? I wonder what those curved swords would be like in a fight. I heard those swords are just for show. They say the Moors can use magic to summon genies and wind and stuff. They fight by summoning genies. What do they do, huh? Rub a lamp? And winds. They can summon really, really strong winds. Oh, sure. <laughs> Better make sure the washer wench doesn't pick a fight with one on laundry day, then. Cheeky git. Okay. Okay. That guy can't see very well, I guess. Oh, no, not jumping. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing in here anywhere. This must be my lucky day. No! No! This didn't happen the other time. He won't know where I went. Okay, so he doesn't know where I am, so that's good. A 
Electrification kills Dr. One, or doct one Dr. Cleary, a surgeon at Bellhaven Hospital, was burned horribly, resulting in his death while operating electrified devices inside the hospital. The electrification of Bellhaven Hospital, funded by Lord Bellhaven himself, was touted as a great step forward into the modern age. It seems that the modern age has claimed another victim. Dr. Cleary was a wealthy and learned man who gave up much in order to help the poor souls of Bellhaven. The hospital is accepting donations. Warner's safe kidney and liver cure. One GP per bottle. Positive remedy for all kidney, liver, and urinary troubles of both male and female. The great natural remedy is <laughs> by druggists in all parts of the world. Try it and take no others. It's each one or a go. Six of eight, if it did to sun, wind, fred, and weekday, 24. Too small to read. This is the age of vapor. We live on steam and gas. The daily improvements in the application of these powers to the purposes of ordinary life is truly admirable and wonder working among them is a prominent novelty. The steam engine invented by Way and Co. Number 272 Oxford Street, near Duke Street. Warren's quarantine still in effect. Yeah, well, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Warren's district of Bridgeport <laughs> remains under quarantine from a plague. The source of which appears to be the unfortunate vessel. <laughs> Bear Maiden, which still lies at anchor in the docks there. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, well, that's... That's something that happens. It happens sometimes. Though the plague appears to have run its course. Oh. This, is this paper from the past or the future? <laughs> Killing nearly all of the district's residents. A few survived. The quarantine will remain in effect until money is found to tow the fair maiden out to sea and sink her. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. You got anything in here? No. You suck. That was good. I thought I. Uh, oh. Sounds like he's going somewhere though. Oh. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, no. As youth! No! Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, so there's a shadow of his sword on the ground there. Is he ever going to move, or is he stuck there now? Surely he moves eventually.
Nice. moved the other time he went over there this time he's just staying here shoot him I'm oh, sure a noisemaker see what this does yeah what was that noise No, not load. I meant, I meant a quick save, not quick load. Okay, let's do that again. What? What was that? What was that? Nothing much here. Save. No. Get out of here and face me, you thief. No. Can't see me. You've got like one eyebrow. Of What's happening? Oh, the Lord is awake. No. Now he's just there forever. Right. Go check out the noise. Twenty five in jewels.
Okay. That pretty much did what I want. But I want to put it inside there anyway. So I'm going to... I'm gonna Okay. Oh, I've got health potion. There was a lockpick somewhere. Maybe that's something I should needed to have bought. Anyway, let's go out and read this book. I hate it. It's you see, sort and stench everywhere. Not only do thieves hide in the dark alleys, but they come out of the very sky. I was walking by a transmitter tower. Next to the tavern this morning, when a damned magpie swooped down and stole a ring right out of my hand. Rolf just stood there like a dolt as the bloody bird mocked me from up there on the pipes above the street. Should get Rolf a bow. It was supposed to be a safe neighborhood, but I saw two moors on the street outside last night. People seem to think they were here with that ambassador. Was these two look like they were up to no good. They were following a well-dressed man down the street, and they obviously didn't want him to know it. How am I supposed to feel secure? With that kind of thing going on? The innkeeper has put my jewels in an iron safe in his room. He wasn't going to tell me the combination, but I secretly watched him say it. How else could I... Get my property if something should happen to him. Just in case. One, six, two. If it weren't for the trade fair of the Inventors Guild, I wouldn't leave bread. And the devices they had on display were a wonder to behold. Letters that can follow behind you and light up the streets. Very marvel. It is a shame Bridgeport keeps these wonders for itself. All of their blueprints are in code. Any inventor that tries to leave the city is executed. I suppose Bridgeport, Bridgeport, Bridgeport would have fallen to her enemies long ago without these inventor machines guarding the harbour, so I cannot fault their caution. I'll be leaving in the morning and glad of it. Objective complete, new objective. The rubies, find loot, meet contact. Okay.
Pardon. I will, uh, save. What's this guy doing? Do something. Do something. I got him. Bop his guy on the head. This isn't what I did last time. <laughs> okay. Stop. I'm gonna fit. Okay, whatever. Get up. Get up on there. Can't really pick him up. Oh, wait, there was a thing to do that, wasn't there? Put them... It would come up on the screen, it says press something to, like, put them over your shoulder or something. I don't know, whatever, you stay there. Okay. Checked out all of these and there was nothing. Maybe a log pick somewhere. Oh, have I been in this one? Oh yeah, I did. Hmm. I went in one, I went in two, I went in three, I went in four. Where's the lock pick? There's a lock pick. They heard the sound of the cup. No! Quick load. Anything now? 
Where's the lady? Where's the lady? You read in the papers about that statue dripping blood? Yeah, my uncle went and saw it. Said it cured his gout. Hmm. I wonder if it will put that hospital out of business. You mean Bellhaven? Seems to be out of business already if Lord Bellhaven wants to pay for the whole thing himself. Hmm. Where's the lady? How was that fight last night? Fine, fine. Okay. Chin. And bottles. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh no. Okay. And nothing down here. Okay. Well, that means that I'm must have needed to get the lockpick buying buying screen because it's not here. be two two lock picks or whatever yeah, maybe the first one is in that first Lovely. So she'll come down and wash her hands again soon and then I'll go up again I don't know what I'm doing down here <laughs> Hmm. 
Mm. Weird. Sorry, lady. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Relax. Okay. One six two. Lord Belhaven to host Vizier, Ibrahim Saif al Daula, the Vizier of Akaba, has come to the city to discuss greater trade between the great merchants of Bridgeport and the southern spice barons of Arabia. The Vizier is being hosted by no less than Lord Belhaven himself. A great honour to this powerful emissary from the south. Bridgeport's harbours already welcome many Arabian ships, more than anywhere east of Manoa. There's the steam thing again, and the Warners thing. Town sacked by barbarians. The northern town of Abedin has been ravaged by pagan barbarians who have grown more and more bold over the past few years. Imperial troops withdrew from the town in the fall as they were needed to defend the trade routes of Braden. Loyal citizens of the Empire left to fend for themselves were slaughtered in all manner of horrible ways. We are fortunate here in Bridgeport that we can rely on our own city watch to guard the walls and the wondrous devices of the Inventors Guild to guard our harbours. Travellers are warned to avoid the northern roads. Okay. 162, wasn't it? look in here we get the gas arrow walk out quick see you later
All right, bye. Oh no, that guy. It's okay. I'm hidden. Okay. Okay. I'm done. Am I done? Isn't that all? No, that guy. Oh, see me. It's okay. Okay. Yes. Someone just saw us. If you'll follow me, we can talk about the details. Okay. Ba ba ba. Okay. 28 suspicious. Five searches, two sightings. Stealth score 24. All right. I hope that was some peace. <laughs>